Hello and welcome to another episode of Mitsubishi Mastered. I'm your host, Tim Heider. On today's episode, we'll be using uh, the program that we created in a previous video and adding to that. We'll show some math functions, uh, some normally open, normally closed contacts, and some timer uh, routines. So with that, let's begin. As you can see, we have GXWorks 3 open, and we have the program that we created before where we have a normally open contact driving a physical real world output, a Y. So let's add to this. As a reminder, we need to be in write mode, so we'll change from read to write. Uh, we could do online writing. In this case, we'll just do write as if we're setting up just on our laptop. Um, so with the write enabled, we can hit shift and insert, and we can add a few uh, spare rows. There's things I can do. Maybe I want to add a normally open contact below the M0. Again, I'll hit F5 and maybe add an M1. I need to connect that rung. Um, I can do that a couple different ways. Uh, the way I'm gonna do it is hold down control and hit the down button and that will draw a line. So anytime we hit control and we use the arrow keys, that will draw or undraw uh, our line. So again, if I hold down control again and I hit up, that removed the line. I could also use these convenient commands up here so we can see F9 is for a horizontal line and Shift F9 for a vertical line. So if I press this, it's gonna ask me how many do I want? I just want one and then that created a vertical line. So it makes it very easy. Um, possibly what we would wanna do is latch this in. So let's just create a generic latch. So instead of an M1, we'll do a Y0. So now when M0 turns on, we'll latch Y0 and that will keep it on. Probably we don't want to, we wanna have a way to undo this though. Um, so if we hit Control Insert, that will shift everything over. So Shift Insert will give us space in the uh, vertical direction. Control Insert will give us space in the horizontal direction. Now I can hit F6 for normally close, and I will call this my reset uh, push button. And we'll just make that a local label that would allow that to be reset. So as long as that's not pressed, Y0 will latch on. Another common thing that you might want to do in GXWorks 3 is to use math. Uh, and I want to show you the, the way that Mitsubishi originally did it because you might see some legacy projects. And then we can talk about how you would do this with an IEC instruction. Uh, so let's go ahead and do an SM400, which is always on. So that bit will stay on no matter what. And we can hit F8 for a coil. Again, all of these are up here. If you prefer the mouse, you can select from all of these up here to manipulate your ladder code. Uh, I prefer the shortcuts. So I can say add, so I give a plus sign, K1 to D100. That's a basic math function. Now if I do that, every time the PLC scans, it's gonna keep adding one until that buffer's full in the, in the register and it'll start over at zero and it'll keep going. So I probably don't want that. So maybe I'll give this a pulse command and just see it incrementing that register. So SM412 will be a one second pulse. And you can see that it automatically told us in the comments one second clock. If I wanted to use more of a IEC instruction, I can come over to my element selection. I can come up here and I can say add and keep selecting the uh, next button until I find an addition. I'll see some that are actually an ADD, so I can drag this in. And that looks a little bit different. Um, that's going to be more of an IEC instruction. Another thing that we might want to do is a move command. So maybe I will say, uh, give us a user label of move, um, user move. How about that? And hit F8. Uh, so I'm going to start out with an MOV. An MOV is a Mitsubishi instruction. Uh, again, this is a, a legacy instruction that will do 16-bit information from one spot to another. So maybe I'll move, um, I'll move D100 over to another register. So D100, whatever's populated into that uh, data register, I'll move that into D102, for example, and hit enter. So whatever that, if I trigger this, whatever happens there will be moved over. And let's show one more uh, in here. So let's maybe do a timer um, and I'll show you the Mitsubishi timers. So. Uh, we'll do normally open, that's, again that's F5, enable timer, just a, a, a local label um, or program scope tag, hit F8. 
Uh, the way that we typically would do this in Mitsubishi World um, is that we'll use T's, those are timers, uh, just like we had a D for a data register or an M for a coil, internal coil. Um, so we can say T0, timer 0, K1000. So I'm going to use timer 0 and count to 1000. Um, and actually that, ha that needs to be a, a coil. I actually had, a, I had brackets, but I need a parentheses. So uh, the parentheses create an out uh, statement. So hit enter, and there we have our out. We also have the uh, TON instructions and TOF. So if you're more familiar with TONs and you want to use TON, we can bring that into the project. Um, and then you'll see your B, your Q, your timer, and your uh, ET, your pass time. Um, so I can go ahead and uh, program this. So we'll have an input. Uh, so why don't we use the same enable timer up here? So we'll copy that here. And then I can hold down control and hit over, give a value to that. So K1000, actually we'll just make a difference. We'll do K200. And then here will be our output. So timer, uh, enable, timer out, timer finished. How about that? And then the past time. So timer elapsed time. Now to compile all of this, I can hit F4. So what you'll see here is after the compile, we have a data type of line two argument inside the function block. Um, so that's line two, it could be here, the K200. Um, we cannot use the same K constant in this timing block. It actually wants a time value. So if we just change this to time, 200 milliseconds, hit F4. Now everything's happy. So we could have said 200 milliseconds, uh, one second. We can give it a specific time. Um, so look, some people prefer the TON instruction. So after we have that compiled, uh, we can check the connection destination and then write that to the PLC. And we'll do another COM test. And there we have successful connection. So I say OK. And then we can go here to write to PLC. We'll just keep it simple and do parameter and program, execute. Yes to all. And we can go to monitoring of all the windows. So start monitoring. And if we can, if we want to trigger our M0, we can go to our watch window that we had created before. And we were already watching. So hit on and there M0 is on. Y0 came on, it latched itself in. Um, the flashing light here, the SM412, um, that is causing a value of K1. Again, every second to be put into D1000. We can see that value. Down here, we give a user move um, to, from D100 to D102. So if we add this to our watch window, we can click on. And now we have that value. Down here, we have our timer enable. So if we minimize this screen a little bit, bring this down. We'll add this to our watch window and we can click on here. So now this is going to time out to a thousand and this already timed out to 200 milliseconds. Um, so at 200 milliseconds, our timer was finished. We can see our elapsed time here. And with that, we're finished. I uh, hope you learned a little bit and uh, feel free to continue on to the next video. And that concludes uh, the video. Thanks again for watching another episode of Mitsubishi Electric Automation Mastered where we show how quick and easy it is to become a master of Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Controls. Thanks and have a great day.